This year at the National Delegate Conference of Unison, uh, Britain's biggest public sector trade union, a group of young Tamil Solidarity members distributed a model letter for the branches of that union to write to the government and the For Foreign Commonwealth Office to demand that they do not participate uh, in the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting that is taking place this November, known as uh, Chogham. Um, and one of the branches has had a response from the FCO itself to that letter. And I just wanted to explain a bit about what that letter says and, and what it means for uh, the Tamil community and for activists. Because in that letter, the government and the FCO uh, claim that they must uh, continue with the uh, Chogham meeting and that they will use the opportunity to put pressure on the Sri Lankan government to call for an investigation into the human rights violations, for example, which you know we would say do that, but at the same time there is stacks of evidence to show that there is uh, an absolutely outrageous record of human rights violations, of war crimes as well. But they also talk about pressurising the uh, Sri Lankan government to implement the, uh, the LLRC. Um, now we would say that is farcical on a number of levels. First of all, that LLRC goes nowhere near what is needed to uh, to, to find justice and to def defend the rights of the Tamils in Sri Lanka. Secondly, the government, although it implemented it, has, uh, has excuse me, ha although it uh, brought the LLRC, has no intention of implementing it. And thirdly, we know from history that the British government has no real intention of putting serious pressure onto the Sri Lankan government to act in any way on any of these. Let's look at the record of the relationship between particularly the Tories, the Conservative Party, and the Sri Lankan government. Over the last years, we've seen that there's been a continued export of arms to Sri Lanka, despite the evidence of war crimes, of denial of democratic rights, and we know how a lot of those weapons are being uh, used to, to do that. But also, we had the visit of Liam Fox, disgraced former minister in the um, Condem government, and we had the pictures, for example, of him warmly shaking hands, describing Rajapaksa as his friend. Now, we'd say that Liam Fox is quite confident in, in carrying out these jobs and doing these jobs for the government. He doesn't have a big uh, Tamil population in his area that he has to rely on for votes. But there are others. Let's look at the example of Lee Scott. Uh, he lives in, a, in an area with a lot of uh, uh, Tamil voters, so he comes along to our meetings. But what does he promise at those meetings, and what does he do? Nothing. The Tamil community is getting nothing from these people. And let's look at their wider policies. What is this party about? They brought in university fees of £9,000 a year, denying th hundreds of thousands of young people a chance to get a decent education. Now they want to run our schools for profit. The schools must be run for the children's interest, not for profit. They are looking at destroying our NHS, something that so many people work in and are proud to have in this country. And also look at the record on immigration and the uh, deportations policy. We know what is happening to Tamils who are being deported to Sri Lanka. The evidence is there, and yet they are continuing with their policy of deporting despite all of that. It's an absolute and total disgrace. But I think we need to talk about what we're going to do. We're looking at these facts. What are we going to do about it? And we have to, I think, recognise that this is what the Conservative Party is about. They were hated under Thatcher. Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher was known as one of the most hated politicians in Britain. They are no different today. In fact, the policies that they are carrying out are ones that Thatcher might have only dreamed of, um, both internationally and uh, domestically. So, for men, in many ways, it's not a surprise to a lot of activists uh, in Britain. It's not a surprise to the trade unions. And in fact, the trade unions are now preparing to have a major battle against these massive attacks on every level. Uh, for example, the teachers are looking at striking in the autumn to protect our schools. Uh, other workers, the postal workers, to, uh, planning to, to ballot for strike action to defend the postal service. These are public services that we need. And there is going to be a massive struggle against the government, and that is possibly going to be uh, looking at including the 24-hour uh, general strike. So a huge battle is on the cards. And I'd say that it's time for, for Tamil activists especially to, to choose which side they're going to be on in that battle.
But I'd also say just widely, and from Tamil Solidarity, that we think that there is no point in any vote or any penny of uh, Tamil money or Tamil votes going to the uh, Conservative Party. They have shown time and again whose side they are on. They are not on our side. Let's break with them completely.